truck with badass upgrades and a badass lift and badass wheels and badass stickers but you know what you need you need a badass tune right you need to tow like a bro this side gauntlet test is brought to you guys by our friends at bully dog and they have been tuning trucks for a very long time check them out using the link below you can buy this tuner and get your 5.3 liter v8 boosted with a little bit more horsepower. You can also see the dyno charts using the link. What are you towing, bruh? Well, we're towing some toys. What else are we gonna tow? Let's see, let me show you. It's a Razor. Oh, cool! It's my baby bra. <laughs> oh, hey, little guy. It's a Suzuki Samurai. It's really not a bra, but yeah. Cool, how much does that weigh with the trailer? Well, total weight is about 8,200 pounds. Do you know why? Why, bro? Well, because I'm very careful with weight. I, we don't want to cross any limits here. I'm hip to that. No, but seriously, when you modify your truck, you can't expect to tell what the factory told you from the very beginning. You have to be very careful. In this case, we're towing about 8,200 pounds, and I got the weight set up right with about 820 pounds on the tongue, and we're using a weight distribution hitch. Let me show you. Well, when you have a lift on your truck, you gotta have a drop on your hitch. And we're using Gen Y torsion hitch to smooth out the ride. We're also using weight distribution attachment. Basically with these bars that lift up the truck a little bit, distributes the weight, we're perfect. This is more of a generic tune by Bully Dog. It's not meant to be a specific towing tune, a specific fuel efficiency tune. It's meant to cover as broad of an area as possible. Okay. Still gives you some extra horsepower and torque, uh, but you still obviously have your tow haul mode. And let's make sure that we have active grade braking. Okay. okay. So there it is, it's off. Just wanna make sure. There it is, grade braking on. It should help us on the way down. What you see here, dude, is a 5.3 liter V8. It's a base engine, base V8 engine in GM trucks, but there's millions of them on the road. And it's hooked up to an eight-speed automatic transmission and Bully Dog is providing a tune. It's not a crazy tune, but it's meant to improve the overall response and performance. So what makes this tune help it tow like a bro? Well, you get a little bit more horsepower, about 38 more horses, and about 43 extra pound-feet of torque at higher RPM. And when you do all these mods, you're taking away performance, right? With weight. Right. Well, you want to add it back in, so you're kind of like stuck. modified truck yes but how about we compare this iGauntlet performance against a stock 5.3 liter V8 with an 8 speed how about that that's a good idea all right so our procedure for the downhill is we we follow the speed limit basically but we come out of the tunnel here at the top of the world continental divide at 50 miles an hour which I'm doing right now uh -huh. I let off I'm in drive, I'm not manually downshifting as always. Right. And the number to beat is 10. That's what the stock truck did with an 8 speed, a 5.3, and you and Roman and Ken did it. All right, gentlemen, unfortunately, we've hit an all time record going down the hill using the brake. How many times, Kent? 10 times I had to hit the brakes. It was 60 to 50. It, now it says that brake shifting is active, right? It says, yeah, uh, it literally comes. says it right <laughs> there on the screen. We're yeah. in tow haul mode. It's just. Frankly, the transmission is just not kicking in 
to slow us down. Dude, here's my first brake application. And let's see if this truck actually downshifts for me. So far it has not. Hmm, interesting. Now, there's something to be said about having all this extra weight because the wheels are much heavier than your stock wheels. Yes. Right? That suspension is much heavier than your stock suspension. Heck all yeah. of these additions mean a heavier truck. That's Number our two. second one. Yes. You're absolutely right, dude. When, you know, all of us want to modify our truck. Sure. Right? It doesn't matter what style or what theme you're going for. But then, Bully Dog comes in. Yes. Right? So, you've just updated your tire size. Yep. Well, the Bully Dog device lets you correct your speedometer. Oh. So, that's good, right? That's cool. So, you can correct your speedometer for the new tire size and uh, you can keep it all good. So, the other thing Bully Dog can do for you is, if you don't like cylinder deactivation, you can disable it using the BDX tuner here on so the Bully Dog. if you do that, then it just turns into a regular eight-cylinder engine. That's all the time. Running. Bully Dog comes in and they allow you to kind of tune some of those parameters and get a little bit extra power to kind of counteract the extra weight. Biter. 59 miles an hour. We have 10 brake applications so far. If it just goes over 60, I have to brake again. But we're slowing down. I think. I think we. Uh, yeah, we are. They just dropped down one number. No way. 10. 10. So what was it? The stock one. 10. All right. So, so the braking performance wasn't affected. All right. That's nice. The truck was able to come down the mountain. But who tows maximum loads? down gigantic mountains. You're probably wondering, what is it like to live with this truck every day? Well, I drove it for a week in stock mode and also half the week with the tune mode. Let me show you. So what is it like to drive this modified truck with all the hardware components, but in stock mode? One thing I can tell is I have to give it a little bit more accelerator to get a response out of the truck. It doesn't feel as immediate. So yeah, that's okay, but it's not the best. You want a little bit crisper response. So let's see how it performs in tune mode now. Here I have the Bully Dog Tuner. It's also known as the BDX and you can view different gauges and information while you're moving if you want so you have some additional information about your truck like the intake air temp for example engine rpm and etc but the tuning process itself is pretty simple key in the accessory position and it takes about five minutes to actually get to a tune all right, so now the truck is tuned and I'm getting back on the highway. This eight speed actually mates really well to the 5.3 liter engine. And what Bully Dog does is actually improve the response, especially when leaving the uh, stoplight or a stop sign. Our procedure once again, this is eight mile run, 7% grade, insane elevation. And we start at 35, and I'm gonna tell you when. And now, I reset the fuel economy meter, um, and you got the timer, right? That is correct. So here are the numbers we are fighting against. The stock truck, whoa, that revved pretty high. Yeah, it did, cool. The stock truck, by the way, we're at 60. So I have Ooh. to back off a little bit. I'll be damned. It's all right. So far so good. It is tuned. The stock truck did a really good run. Eight minutes and eight seconds. Right. Eight minutes would be a perfect run. And it did a 3.2 MPG. And stop. 808. 808, wow. Yeah, nice. last time I tried to do this, I actually dropped my phone. <laughs> I'm just having a case on it, and there's no case on it. Yeah. 808. That's pretty impressive. And what's the mileage? The 
Mileage is 3.2 miles per gallon. Once again, that's not bad. Right now, our temperature is hovering around 210 to 15 on the coolant. It's not overheating, it's controlling its temp. There it go, it downshifted for me. Good job, truck. By the way, we're using 91 octane. They have several different octane level tunes. Right. There's 87, 93, and 91. What are you hearing more, the exhaust, the tires, the wind? I'm hearing the exhaust. Yeah, right now it's the overwhelming sound. It's not, all, you know, it's not terribly loud. No, it's not too bad. I'll actually give them credit. I expected to hear a lot more exhaust, a lot more uh, induction noise too. What about like a five inch round tube, you know, God, exhaust pipe? Yeah, I know. A lot of people like to do that. I, I personally wouldn't, but um, I don't think I'll make much of a difference. What we're hearing is really coming from the front. It's coming from the engine. I'm actually surprised I'm not hearing tire noise, but then again, we're so far away from the tires that maybe that's why we're not hearing them. So what makes this a bro truck? You get the theme? Well, let's start from the bottom. 22 inch deep dish wheels. Check out those spikes. 35 inch rubber, yeah. Big ass lift, yes. Then you have an intake and you have an exhaust. It's already stanced. It's got a wrap. It's got a bully dog on it. Yeah, it's a bro truck. Hey, Nathan, can you walk out of the shot? So how much is a tune? Well, prices change, you know, season to season, year to year. Right now, the, this particular tune for the V8 is $399. Okay. So it's about 400 bucks. Um, obviously, you gotta check out the link because there could be a discount. Right. The prices could change, tunes can change. So, so just check it out. But it's not a lot of money considering you're spending a lot more money on all the other mods. Well, hell yeah. I mean, that, that's the, considering how much power you get out of it. It's obviously doing the trick. What does this truck look like to you? Well, it's pretty badass. Well, it looks like a bulldog, dude. It's, it's big and wide and tall. And you know what? What? It's nice, but that's badass. Holy dog. Oh, All right, dude, we're approaching. Uh, this is getting uh, nail bitey. And now. Okay. What's the time? 7.51.57. So, pretty much that's a super clean run. Yes. Absolutely didn't seem like it had any problems with power whatsoever. So that's basically an eight minute kind of a trademark benchmark run. That is correct. 4.1 MPG. So we got stopped by some traffic. Literally, what would you say, 200 feet away from our traffic light? Yeah, so there's just a, maybe a two second variable there, but um, give or take. It's basically at our eight minute threshold, which is what makes the benchmark for us. Mm -hmm. If you're under or at eight minutes, then you have a supremely good time. If you're over that, then you know, obviously things drop off. Good, good result. 10 brake applications, which is the same as stock. Right. Same time up the mountain, basically an ideal run. But a little bit better fuel efficiency according to the trip meter. So you know what? What? We towed like a bro. We did, and it was a good result. And go back to tfltruck.com for more news, views, and real world customized truck reviews. See ya, bro.